I'm ready. You're all good. Nice to meet you. How are you? <laughs> fine, fine. Thank you. Uh, is your first movie like director? Uh, how was uh, the experience? No. Uh, it was really exhilarating. It was exciting. It was also scary. Um, you know, uh, it's a lot of responsibility. Um, uh, we made the movie in Australia. I'd never been to Australia before. I traveled there with my wife and six-month-old son. Um, so it was it was it was really challenging and really exciting. I learned a tremendous amount. It's very different than just being a writer. Um, and I'm really, really grateful to have had the experience. It's something that I will carry with me always. The, and the experience, the filming in Australia, is the emotional? Uh... Yeah, it was. Um, <clears throat> uh, we filmed in Melbourne, uh, which is almost the southernmost place in Australia, almost. <clears throat> um um the the uh the crews in uh, in melbourne and in australia are amazing uh the work ethic is incredible um the craftsmanship is brilliant um it was an amazing place to get to be with my young family in such a beautiful city with such kind and wonderful people uh just the people in Mel Mel Melbourne really just kind of opened their arms to us. And that was amazing. Uh, and getting to direct my first film with Russell Crowe in it um, was just a remarkable dream come true. Um, you know, when um, I got to say action for the very first time on the set, it was amazing. Uh, I'll never get to do that again for the first time. I hope I'll get to do it again. But um, it was awesome. Just uh, tell me about the work uh, with Russell Crowe. No, he's a superstar. Totally, um, incredible presence, incredible actor, incredible human. Um, such a such a rare, incredible opportunity to have gotten to work with him. Uh, let alone work with him on my first movie. Uh, he was a real ally, a real asset, uh, not just as an actor, but given sort of the depth of knowledge he has and having done this for so long, um, he was really able to help me a lot, just beyond his performance and his embodiment of the character, uh, his knowledge of filmmaking and the filmmaking process and character and storytelling. Um, he was really just, he was just really great. Um, you know, he's um, a writer and director himself Um, so it was more than just about having an actor who was great in the part. Um, you know, um, I feel really, really fortunate that I got to work with him. Okay. In this movie, the, the memory and suspense are crucial. Uh, tell me about the experience. Of this. Um, I always tried to calibrate, um, those elements of the story through the lens of the protagonist. So, um, The story is really built and the mystery and suspense are built um, through the eyes of Russell's character. There's never a time when I'm cutting away to the mystery without Russell being in it. So you're only learning as the viewer um, elements of the story as Russell's character learns them, um, which I'm... Um, you know, I was really sort of lucky that that was sort of the organizing principle in the storytelling because it kind of allowed us to control the story much more and be really honest with it. Um, we're always only ever making choices based upon what Russell's character would do in those circumstances. So in the writing and in, in the shooting and in post-production, that was always what we came back to. What is the experience of the character in this story? Okay. About the guion, uh, what are the challenges of adapting a special novel like this? Oh, the challenges of adapting it? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, so the book that the movie is based on is pretty different in terms of its execution than the film. The character that Russell plays doesn't appear in the book until the final third of the book. And what we did was we reframed the entire narrative, the whole mystery, the whole investigation into events of the past through the eyes of Russell's character, 
Uh, so it was a pretty um, heavy lift in terms of the adaptation. We had to do a lot of work in order to turn the book into the movie. Okay. Uh, finally, uh, what does the Latin audience uh, mean to you? No? Oh, well, I haven't... Um, um, I haven't spent a huge amount of time in Latin America, um, but I have a lot of Latin American friends um, and um, uh, the Latin audience is, is, is wonderful, passionate. They're excited about the arts and cinema. Uh, and I'm thrilled that they're embracing the movie and the prospect of this film as much as they are. Um, I hope for Latin American audiences that it's a thrill ride that keeps them guessing right up until the end. Okay. Thank you for interview. Thank you.